<laughs> lamp. I love lamp. 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 Uh, all right, let's light this candle. Let me know when we're ready. We are ready. Yep. <sighs> Come on, say my the magic life words. for more professional co-hosts. <laughs> say the magic words. Come my on. kingdom. My oh, kingdom for professional co-hosts. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode yes. of the Giga Hub yes. Weekly Show, where we talk about things that matter to us, but may not matter to you. I am host. One of three, Luis Delatore. I'm host two of three, Daikaiji Tony. And I'm Adam. Hi, Adam. And that's that's our Adam. <laughs> that's our Adam. He's me. Uh, guys, we're going to be reviewing a very special movie. We're going to do a <laughs> retro review of a tokusatsu movie from 1995. Is it that old? It's yes. that old. Wow. It's that old. Mm, beautiful. Director's cut looked pretty clean. Tokusatsu 90s. Mm, 90s Mwah. tokusatsu. So good. Mm. Um... <laughs> but I mean, but, I enjoyed it, but uh, oh, screw it's you! No seven screw seven nobody. Right. Oh, hey. shut your mouth! Hey. <laughs> you presumptuous. <laughs> All right, but before we do that, let's talk about our wonderful sponsor, Cosmic Comics, the pop culture mecca of the Mojave Desert. Guys, we have everything here that your nerdy little heart would desire, including but not limited to comics, comic book boxes. Yes, and comic. Book we don't have boxes. comic books here, and statues. And graphic novels. Yes. But no comics. And G Fuel. No comics. And graded comics and back issues. And but no new comics. comics and but there's but no, no comics. comics. But there's no comics. <laughs> a giant Pikachu. Yeah, there's a <laughs> bunch of cool stuff that you can buy for yourself or somebody else. Yeah. Um, maybe your birthday's coming up, you know? Actually you can see the giant Pikachu just behind Luis's head. There get it. Uh, no, you didn't even have to move. It's Oh, okay. Straight up. Cool. Uh, yeah, guys, come on down. Browse our wares. Uh, we have we have books if you have coin. Um, you can talk to <laughs> one of... you have coin? Do you have coin? <laughs> Kajit has wares if you have coin. Uh, you can talk to one of our knowledgeable staff, including but not limited to Anthony. Yes. An- Anthony. Anthony. Um, so come on down. Yes. Come on down. Okay. Huzzah. Uh, all right. We're going to do a retro review of a movie that we all watched uh, this last week. Yeah. I've seen uh, it many times. So. I had seen it many times as well. But Did you see the director's cut? Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. That's the version okay. I have. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> it was on Amazon. I was like, ooh, director's cut. Oh, uh, Luis is always going on and on about this stupid freaking movie. Let me <laughs> <laughs> but that is, uh, the whole title is uh, Mechanical <laughs> Violator Hakaider. Hakaider. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Huck, yeah. uh, this movie is its own movie, but the character of Hakaider came from the, uh, was it like a, was it a live action? Yeah. Um, a live action Tokusatsu show from called, the 70s. yeah, it's from the 70s called Kick Hider. Hakaider. Oh, there wasn't or a Kick Hider? Oh, Kick Hider. He wasn't yeah. a bad guy in Kick Hider? Yeah. yeah, he was a bad guy in Kick Hider. Kick Hider. It's hard to pronounce. I'm sorry. Kick Hider. Kick Hider. Um, was that the white angel looking robot? Or? No, no Kick Hider. different. Kick Hider wasn't even anywhere oh, near okay. the movie, but. Uh, I did wonder when I first, because I had seen the Kick Hider show before I had watched Kick Hider, so I was like, "Well, where's Kick Hider?" And well, it turns out this movie is kind of like its own movie, yeah, bereft of Kick Hider and anything from the Kick Hider universe, like from the Kick Hider cinematic universe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's basically, uh, it's basically Tokusatsu, uh, sci-fi, dystopian, maybe even a little cyberpunk. I would say it's more like a fairy tale or or a. Uh... <clears throat> uh, kind of, I guess. Yeah. There's yeah. like, there's definitely some visuals some, like, in there. It's mythology, yeah. It's, yeah, it's so more, it's, it's more Christian mythology than anything. It's definitely like, honest, a, yeah. uh, like a, like <clears throat> well, a, what would you call it? like a cautionary tale or like it's a like a post apocalyptic? Uh, I would Western. just call it cr- uh, Christian mythology. <laughs> it's just, okay, I would just call it Christian. It's very anti Christian mythology, yeah. though. Well, yeah, well, well, it also has like post apocalyptic Western vibes, given that it does. Hyder has a. Freaking like with a shotgun, it looks so cool. Yeah. The shotgun it's is super pretty shotgun, cool. Yeah, yeah. it's super duper shotgun. Yeah. Um, so basically, just a real quick rundown of a plot. Uh, Huckider is a dangerous and powerful android. He's an android, right? Yes. He's not a cyborg. Well, uh, it's a little... cyborgs are biological, right? He wasn't biological. Cyborgs have to have some biological parts to them. I don't know. Right. I don't, I don't think they were biological. They I think they were that. androids. Well, I think the one was biological, the angel dude, right? Because yeah, then he had he a was. spinal column and a brain. Well, I might have yes, been to connect was. the rest of his robot right. parts. Who knows? I don't know. It just probably looks dramatic. I don't know. But he's basically a powerful... And I know that because you get to see a spinal cord. You get to brain. see a whole spinal <laughs> column, guy, Mortal Kombat <laughs> yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. 
Um, but uh, he's basically a uh, powerful robot that was created to keep peace in a dystopian society. Well, but you don't know that right off. He doesn't know who. He right, is. he doesn't know who he is. But I'm just basically summing it up. Okay. Uh, but basically, he had grown too powerful, and he favored his freedom a lot Sound more. Sound familiar, yeah. Lucifer? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he basically preferred his own personal freedom and so personal choice. So he was choices. cast out. So he was cast out. And a replacement was made named Michael. <laughs> yeah. All right. From a perfect dystopian society. Right. Uh, this guy, that villain is pretty twisted, by the way. Yes, but he, uh, he basically escapes uh, and starts to sort of make his way over towards uh, the place city, where he was yeah. born, the city where he was born, which is called Jesus Town. G- yeah, it is. Yes, that's right. It's yeah. called Jesus Town. It's called Jesus Town. I, you know what? If this, was, <laughs> if this was an American movie, it'd be like, Jesus Town? Really? This is <laughs> really... It sounds great this to is the Japanese on the note. Palette, And uh, that's why I think I accepted it. When they said Jesus Town, I'm like, I'll take it. I'll take it. I yeah, think I'll to them it. it sounds <laughs> spectacular. They're very... They're very well known to take like words in English, even like words in other languages, oh, to use like, to like call it's things like, like okay, Shintoville. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool. yeah, well, that no, sounds no, no, like, no. Yeah. like who Shintoville? But Tessa's okay, like, come okay. on, Shintoville. <laughs> but Jesus, all right, time, yeah. Um, slightly off topic. All the Christian imagery, Neon Genesis Evangelion, was added just because it sounded and looked cool. D- yeah. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. So with Hakaider, yeah, this stuff is cool. I mean, it works for for the scope of the story. I mean, let's face it: the most, especially like the the hero, the hero Tokusatsu, are usually living anime. So there's right. not like there's not a lot of the real thinking involved in what's no. going on, especially in something like this. This was a philosophical twist. Um, the and oppo- not even a hard one to follow. Yeah, the opposing philosophies primarily being freedom of the individual versus peace through order, basically. Right. Yes. Through a cruel order. Yeah. 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 Uh, right, so as he makes his way to towards the city, he meets a couple rebels. He meets some rebels. He meets a rebel force, right, right that's trying to break away from... Uh, what's the guy's name? I forgot what his name Michael? was. No, no, no. His, his oh, creator. Boss, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like a weird right. name, but uh, no, orchid. No, <laughs> no. He just talks about orchids. Or yeah, he talks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he talks about beauty, beauty a lot. The beauty and order, but beauty like and order, what, what yeah. the price we have to pay for that order, which is lobotomizing people. Yes, uh, yeah. who don't follow your rule. Uh, so he meets up with these rebels. He sort of takes up with their cause reluctantly, especially because of the the I guess the main heroine who ends up dying let's just right. let's just say uh and he's just sort of goes from there on a revenge spree and that i mean that's pretty much it yes that's pretty much the <laughs> crux of the movie yes. right i mean what, what else besides what we're going to discuss i mean that's pretty much the plot yeah i mean there is a point where he makes a choice to fight for individual freedom right mm-hmm. yeah i mean that's pretty again it's not a hard movie to follow the yeah. it's really Painted in broad strokes, for like yeah, it's yes. it's not a complex, it's not movie. subtle, it's yeah. not <laughs> subtle. It's 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 very much on the nose. I think because yes. it's Japanese, I can forgive that how on the nose it is. If this was an American production, I think I would have been like, okay, come on. <laughs> well, I, but I think it was made with such earnestness. I, I I don't know enough about this director to know if this comment is true, but I almost get the sense like it was intentionally simplified because it is both parroting and satir, satirizing, mm-hmm. you know, tokusatsu mm-hmm. from the era. Uh, well, Keita I mean, kids, oh. Kid shows from the era. He's yeah, well, this is not you know a kid I mean? show. And it's not a kid show. Like, I you still see, recommend it to kids, though. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. You see a show like this, and, and like the first thing you think is Power Rangers. Right. That's like the oh, first yeah. thing you think, yeah. right? Maybe even Masked well, Rider, if you remember Masked Rider, right, which, which is, is Connor, which are both Black RX, but in America. Right, which were both service. Japanese, yeah. pro- originally Japanese properties. But... Yeah, this is definitely not. Why you might think that this is definitely not for children. This right. is definitely a much more. Mat- I mean, are you gonna say well, it's kid not down a mature of- story? It's just it's no. it's it, not, not, not a mature kids. story. It's not for kids. When I say right. mature story, it's definitely not for kids. Yeah. Um. There is a, there is a Michael who is the replacement for Hakaider yeah. as the sort of enforcement robot right, to the main the city, guy yeah. of the city. Uh. He gets his whole head and spinal column ripped out, Mortal Kombat style. Like, <laughs> it's does, insane. Yeah. He just grabs his awesome. head, just pulls it right out of his body. I noticed too when they damaged the actual buildings, it looked as if the building, it didn't bleed per se, but it almost gave the sense that the building was alive, like everything inside was Ye- like 
Yeah, so like everything internally organs and tissues. Yeah. Which so. which uh, I was watching it. Uh, I was watching it with someone, and they were like, "How is that building even standing? Like, there's nothing <laughs> in between <laughs> yeah. those columns. Nothing right. is solid. The walls all have red cables running yeah, through. Right. The thing everything was red. Everything yeah. was red. And so it did look like it was a biological building somehow. Well, right? Yeah. Well, you see, the thing with KTI Mia's aesthetics is everything has to be organic looking. If you yeah. look at Zeram, Zeram Two, Comrider J, Comrider Zeto, and Shin Comer, it's like a more it's instead of Everything's you know, like, alive. Yes. It's, it's biological. It's more biological, yes, yeah. Because when he did Comrider, instead of being a guy in a, a cyborg guy in a suit, it's like a freaking humanoid grasshopper person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah what was that? Uh, is that Amazon? Was that? No, no, no. This is the ones that he worked on. Oh, the ones that he worked so, on. Okay. Jay, Shin, yeah. Well, this was, this was kind of similar, right? Like, yes. Again, like, like we, how we, we updated Hakaider's design yeah. compared to the original design. <laughs> but even I'll like have to look at the, original the, the transformation sequence. I knew nothing about all this. <laughs> was, was more akin to like the Venom symbiote, like yeah. like sort of wrapping itself around your yeah. body. Yep. Like the, Very like, Yeah, like, he, like it would show like there was this whole like Power Ranger <laughs> Sailor Moon transformation <laughs> where like cables just sort of came up and like surrounded his body yeah. before turning him into... The yeah. the suit. He's a, he a handsome version. boy. He's a pretty. He's a boy. very handsome yeah. boy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, extremely handsome boy, who had no line, very little line. He, he didn't speak much. He didn't speak very much, but I guess he didn't have to. No, the best protagonists don't speak that much. Yeah, exactly. He's definitely an antihero. Definitely the kind of guy who walks away from an explosion without looking back. <laughs> right. Um, right. Let's talk about let's talk about the aspects of the movie. Like, what did you think of the effects of this movie? Oh. I mean, for 1995. <laughs> Tokusatsu, Go ahead. Tokusatsu <laughs> from Keita Aimea in the 90s. Gold. It's, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, Guys, look, I, 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 I love it. You need I to see this on Blu-ray in like the most highest quality picture you could possibly see in your TV. It's I, that I mean, good. It, I, don't, I don't think it was ultra high, but I mean, it looked good on my TV. I love the effects, honestly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like the effects. I love the the stop. I love stop motion. I think the stop motion made the final boss look really <laughs> yeah. creepy. Yeah. Stop motion oh, is very yeah. good at Depending making creatures look done, very yeah. creepy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not the first time he's done stop motion to make monsters look unsettling. No, no, not at all. Yeah, uh, Zerum is another movie that I'd recommend, by the way. Yeah, but it's yeah. the same thing. There's a stop motion sort of version of Zerum at the end, and it's and it moves in the same way as that final creature, and it's kind of creepy. Yeah, I, I would say considering, I. I got the sense that it's a lot lower budget than it looked. Yeah. So for with that in mind, it looked great, if that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. The, the the effects are kind of cheesy. Yeah. Right? There's a lot of those Power Rangers sparks. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Those, those but I think squeaks. that was intentional. But too. yeah, and that's fine. Yeah, and that's okay. Honestly, it yeah. just added to the aesthetic of this movie, which was just like a simple movie to just enjoy, right? Yeah, like it had this like, message in it, but like in the end, really, like th- that didn't deter any anyone no. from watching it yeah. I, I i don't know i mean what, what did you think because like mm. adding you know the effects like adding sparks and being primarily tokusatsu it's more of a respectful homage to the original without overly relying on the original <laughs> yeah <laughs> right yeah, yeah kind of like how um let me think of an example that's not kti i mean uh shin Godzilla, how shin Godzilla uses sound effects from the show era yet Pretty much everything about that movie is like a modernized version of Showa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm, yeah. It's true. So this movie, what about uh, what about like the action scenes? What did you think of the action scenes? I mean, Primo, right? Oh, like, they were cool. Yeah, the you know he he doesn't until he meets Michael. He really doesn't come against any kind of legitimate threat. <laughs> he's, he's just pretty much ripping through. Oh yeah, guys. he's just yeah. tearing through yeah. these guys he's like tearing. tissue paper. It's tear like when he first shows There's up. A certain the... catharsis to that. I I, I think. I think that seems to work more in a modern audience too, mm-hmm. at least for now. Um, you know, where you just see them tear through bad guys until they get to the final boss. Oh yeah, I mean uh, that that comes and goes. I've noticed through social trends, what the audience is looking for. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I honestly, I think it was. I thought I, I liked shotgun. it a lot. Yeah, super shotgun. The whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, watching him rip through a bunch of like little little people was. <laughs> I mean, first of all, it demonstrated how strong he was, oh, right? Yeah, like, yeah. he could just take on a whole he force of dudes. Yeah, yeah. He outclasses And, and he, he's, he completely is powerful yes. enough to destroy them. And then once he sort of gets to Michael and, he, they're, they're, and there's that actual struggle. Right. Yeah. Like, and then he, now he's in a fight. Yeah. yeah. Now and they, were like, each, they were effing They were effing each other. I can't speak. They were effing each other up pretty good, too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think the, uh, the funniest parts of this movie, and I was watching it with my girlfriend, and, and she, she even said this because there were scenes where it was quiet. 
and you would hear them walking because they would have like a distinct <laughs> sound. Katink, 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 katink. Yeah. So like it'd be yeah. quiet, and he'd be like, "Oh, he just killed everyone on this floor." And then katink, <laughs> katink, katink. Like, oh, here he comes. <laughs> here, slowly but surely, here he comes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so I liked his face. It looked like a. It looked like his a actual cool, face or his no his. his I mean, face. yeah, he, was, he literally got a smear handsome, all the time. But he just yeah, yeah he kind of he reminded me of like a cool Japanese version of uh, Bloodsport from Suicide Squad. Oh yeah, <laughs> a, a less xenomorph inspired Bloodsport. He's like, <laughs> yeah, he did, he lo- his face does look angry <laughs> all the time. It looks yes. like it's grimacing all the Red time. Eyes, yeah, it's frown. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. He kind of like this, wasn't he? He was kind of like... Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh, yeah. I love the uh, the dream sequence. Uh, yeah. If you remember the dream oh, yeah. sequence Her, where... The dream sequence? Yeah, the, uh, the, the heroine, symbolism. I guess, the yeah. one who sort of inspires this change in him. Yeah. Uh, she has a, a vision of a demonic angel. Pro- obviously, it's the, the right. BBEG. And then this black knight who shows up and yep. basically kills it. And it, I mean, you can tell that it's, yeah. it's not hard to figure out that she's dreaming about Hokkaido coming in and saving everybody. Right. So, yeah. but I think the sequence was amazing. I think it looked yeah. great. It yes. cool. The, the knight on the, the armor knight looks great. Yeah, he takes off his helmet and it's the handsome guy. Yeah. Like, oh, it's me, the handsome guy. It's the handsome that, guy. That that uh, that dream sequence got out of hand real quick because then it just turned into like marriage. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. It, it, <laughs> it, was, like, it was a whirlwind. Yeah, romance. it was a whole whirlwind. <laughs> and, and then she died. Yeah. I think these were her last thoughts. But yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, um, it's interesting. I do. I love the action sequences. I love the oh, effects. Yeah. I think everything looks great. If you're looking for, I wouldn't say mindless because there certainly is a no, philosophical. Yeah thread but it's not a difficult movie you're right it's not it's, anything you got to wrap your head around. it's a poor poor choice of words yeah. it's definitely a movie you can sit down and really enjoy yeah. and not have to think too you much because there's not a lot to think about yeah it's like, just yeah plus if you want to like get into tokusatsu and get into something that's not godzilla ultraman or com writer this is this yeah. is the way yeah yeah, yeah. yeah especially since the good guy is fighting for personal freedom <laughs> yes yes yeah. Uh, but anyway, that I mean, is there anything else to say? Is there anything more to say? It's a great. I let's highly recommend this movie to everyone. Wow. This movie's that good. You know what? I do too. I do too. <laughs> it's one of those. I recommended it to you a bunch, and you just now watched it. It's one. Yeah. It's one of those tokusatsu movies. I don't think you gotta, I ever. You and I think the only reason I watched this. it. It's because I was at home and I had nothing going on at that moment. <laughs> right. And I was like on Amazon looking for something to watch. I was Just like, oh, Louise, and... Louise keeps telling me about this. I'll watch that. It's awesome. Yeah. It's great. Okay, so I'm glad you watched it. I really am. So let's let's uh, let's get some ratings then, right? Uh, out of four stars, uh, starting with Adam. <laughs> because this is really going to set up precedence first. for our friendship. <laughs> out of four stars. <laughs> Out of four, going forward, this is going to this is really going to dictate how I'm going to treat you and just my general attitude towards you. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Two and a half. Whoa. <laughs> I liked it. I did. I did. But it's not. It's not the Seven Samurai. You know what I mean? Wow. Not... Wow. So Dude. you couldn't even lie to save our friendship. <laughs> Wonderful. All right. What about you, Anthony? Four. Four. Okay. Yes. It's that good. Okay. Okay. It's, it's, okay. it's as good as Zaram and Zaram too. Oh, I yeah, I love Zerum. You should watch Zerum if you get a chance. Uh, I <laughs> I know, but you're probably expecting me to give this four stars. I can't give it four stars. I can give it three and a half stars. Really? Yeah, I would give it three and a half stars. I think there's there's a lot of it that's like a lot of the broad strokes. I'm just like, okay, maybe that could have been fixed, I guess. But besides that, there really isn't too much of, a, of an issue with this movie. I, I I honestly enjoy it. I've watched it a few times already. Um, this is not an ad for Tubi, but you can watch it on Tubi as well as <laughs> yes. on Amazon Prime. Oh, okay. Uh, Tubi has commercials, right? Ever made. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, it does. I'm allergic to commercials. But, you know, if you're not paying for Amazon and you need to watch it for free, you watch a couple commercials. It's also That's on YouTube, fair. by the way. Yes. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not the best quality on YouTube, Excuse but it is me. also Gosh. on YouTube and if I you want to watch it. I probably know the guy who uploaded it. In. <laughs> oh, <laughs> was it you? No. Uh, I, I know a lot of people. I will put oh. a link. In the description. There you go. So you can just click and just go to the next YouTube video. Guys, there we go. Four, three and a half. And two and a half. Two and, two and, and a half. half. Uh, uh. For a grand total of 3.33, which rounds up to 3.5. Three and a half stars. Three okay. and a half stars. Uh, okay. But there you go, guys. Uh, 
have you seen this movie? Have you not? Let us know in the comments below what you thought. Are there some other fantastic? Uh, oh, some good Tokusatsu. Tokusatsu movie. movies are horribly overrated ones like Versus. Hey. Yeah. Oh, uh, hey. yeah. yeah. Hey. People love that movie. I don't get it. It's, I don't get it's it. Awesome. It's, it's awesome. Awesome. Get it. I don't get it. It's awesome. And they uh, picked that guy to direct Final Wars. Oh, yes. God. Do watch Zero. Yeah. Do watch, uh, <laughs> do watch a bunch of like '90s Tokusatsu. So I highly recommend it. Sign our Jupiter, guys. Ooh, uh, our Jupiter, uh, yes. I know, right? Yeah, there you go. Uh, anyway, yeah. Let us know it what your space. favorite Tokusatsu movie is too, if you'd like to do that. Uh, hit uh, the like or dislike button. Doesn't matter to us. It really only matters to the algorithm monster. Yes. And you could hit the subscribe button every time we drop a new Sorry. video. You will be wow. alerted if you hit the bell icon. So that you can be angry at us or love us, whatever you <laughs> right. want to do. It doesn't really matter to me. Right. Uh, anyway, that's it, guys. Do go see uh, Mechanical Violator Hakaider. Yes. And then, Mechanical Violator. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, yes. it's a very long title. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.